The JVC receiver, which forms the heart of my hi-fi system, is malfunctioning, so I need to find a replacement. Of all the many brands of surround receivers and surround preamps I have tested, only JVC brand successfully handles the gapless bitstream playback of stereo and mixed DTS tracks, switching from one to the other silently and correctly. I've been looking around at other more modern preamps and again have found none that do the job as well as JVC. Unfortunately, JVC no longer manufacture this type of surround audio equipment. The following section shows a demonstration of an Emotiva preamp, kindly supplied by the seller of that preamp. And although he has no left speakers connected, and thus there are gaps in the DTS part of the playback, the important part is to notice the switching from DTS mode back to stereo mode, in which the first approximately one second of the stereo track is missed because of the long delay in switching modes. You can hear the beginning of the track, how it should sound in a later section of the playback. I have to say that the JVC receiver currently used in my Hi-Fi is not a heap better, with perhaps a half second delay in switching from DTS mode back to stereo. But they did make an even better receiver with an unnoticeable delay in switching from DTS to stereo, which I will now demonstrate. So you saw that the JVC RXD301 surround receiver perfectly handles the switching from stereo to DTS and back to stereo with no delay on that second transition. So nothing is lost from the start of the stereo track. But the thing I don't like about these receivers is they use Class D technology uh, rather an inefficient design in this particular case requiring a fan at the end of the heatsink 
and I do not like fans in my hi-fi system eventually they become noisy they might even fail it's a point of weakness so what I'm doing is I'm modifying one of my spare D301s I've removed the two inductors which provide power to the output stage uh, and I've unplugged the, the fan connector so the output stage will not be running and there'll be no heat generated I'll just be using this as a straight surround preamp and as you can possibly see I run an extra wire from the, the bowels of the circuitry and I'm in the process of fitting uh, four output sockets to this cable so it'll become a, a preamp output which I'll then use with my new 8 channel power amps that I have ordered.